what we have here is uh, the difference of two squares. I identified this as a difference of two squares by the following. The minus sign is very important and the numbers 9 and 64 are very important. When I see this, I automatically start writing down something like this. And then I have to figure out what do I fill in position 1 and position 2. So uh, Robert, in position 1, what do you think? What will go in here? What multiplied by itself gives you 9x squared? Uh, 3x. Okay, exactly. And then, uh, Owen, what about in here? Uh, eight. 8. And then what's the next step? Three, uh, or either way, 3x plus 8, 3x minus 8. So that's the first one. Now, what a lot, I purposely put this one in here to confuse you because it looks exactly like the other one. And a lot of people try to do the same thing. But there is actually nothing you can do there. Okay? Now, if I was to change this question to, let's say, 8x squared, is there something I can do then? If that wasn't a 9, it's now an 8, what could I do? I could just take out the 8, and I'd be left with x squared plus 8. Always, when you're doing these questions, always multiply it back out in your head. If you don't get the original equation, you've done it wrong. Uh, yes, James? Uh, if you made it 3x minus 8 and the other factor is 3x minus 8 also, would that make the same thing? Okay, now this is, this is a, that's, a, that's a good idea. Now I'm going to show you how to check if you're right or wrong. So you said 3x minus 8 and then what's the other one? 3x minus 8. Now if you multiply that out, James, what you're going to end up getting is this. You're going to get 9x squared. You're going to get minus 24x minus 24x plus 64. You're right about, you get 9x squared and 64, but you get this extra. See the part in the middle? And that's why it doesn't work. <coughs> Is that right? Yep. Okay. Uh, it's the plus and the minus that destroys the middle, or gets rid of the middle, okay? Alright guys, what about the next part? 12x squared minus 27y squared. Any ideas there? Uh, oh. Uh. Look at these two numbers here. Yeah, you need to split from uh, Take out a number that will divide into both of them. Okay, uh, uh, number three. Okay, number three will go in. 4x squared minus 9y squared. Trick is with maths is to ignore parts, ignore parts of the question and look at the parts you can do. So uh, Luke, looking at this, red box only, what would you do here? Um, what? Yeah. Alright, the numbers 4 and 9, what does that indicate to you? The numbers 4 and 9. Dif difference of two squares, okay? And what number goes in here, Luke? Uh, 2. And what else? And what's 2x multiplied by 2x? Okay, that checks out, right? And what's, uh, what goes in here, Dennis? 3y squared. 3y to be squared. And then there's a 3 on the outside, correct? Now, once we've done that, what's the last step? We would have done it already. You did it up here. What's the last step? Uh, Oscar. Multiply by? Two, two minutes, yeah. Uh, three, yeah, and? 2x uh, plus 3y. Two two okay. Alright guys, so look, that's, that's powered out. So number G. Okay, uh, with G, we have the following. We have, uh, with G, we have uh, basically... Basically, we have a 12x cubed y minus 36xy cubed. Now, what what number can we take out of the two of these? What number will divide into 12 and 36? And six will. You can go bigger. 12. 12. And then, when we write this out, it's x x x y. Do you understand where I got that from? X cubed, right? And this one here is x y y y how much do they have in common they have one x and one 
Y in common. So what does that mean I can take out? X and Y. Open up the brackets, okay? Now, what do we get here, guys? 12XY multiplied by what gives you 12X cubed Y? Can anybody tell me? X squared. X squared. Because the X to the power of 1 and the X to the power of 2 give you X to the power of 3. Okay, and what about the next part, the 36 xy cubed? 3y squared. Sorry? 3y squared. 3y squared. Okay. Uh, like the answer? Yeah, and I'll just to do it. Uh, take what divides into both of them. Okay, so take out 5. 5 and the 4 yeah. x squared yeah. minus 25y squared. Exactly. And then what you do next? Um, you can add 2x minus 5y, 2x plus 5y. 2x to be squared, and then 5y to be squared. You're right, Brian, you just, you just, you knew to skip the step, so you're correct. And then 5 into 2x plus 5y, and 2x minus 5y. minus 5y. How many people got that? All right, so look, just remember that. How many of you actually got that today? If I give you that in two weeks' time, that's not the same number, and that's because you haven't revised. Okay? Now, next one, guys, okay? What do we do here? What can we take out here? Uh, Conrad, 8 and 24. You can take out 8 and 24. And there's an M in common, there's a P and an R in common. 8 and PR, good man. And then what's left in here? 4 minus 3M. Well done, R minus 3M. Okay? Alright lads, now that's simple.